Students from various schools across the island were the first to see the reenactment of six monologues from the book Voices, directed by Francis Urias Peters and Yvonne Wicks. Voices was written by Yvonne Wicks along with various writers from Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Antigua, St. Martin and others of Caribbean heritage based in the U.S. It contains 36 monologues, short plays and experimental dramatic texts. Wicks says that the book is available to teachers across the Caribbean and its monologues can be used as a fun way to learn history. Well, I want them to, to recognize that history isn't boring. Because very often, that's, what, that's the first thing they say. I mean, I myself dropped history very early in life <laughs> and then picked it up as an adult. And we know that history is a declining subject in the secondary schools in terms of the whole region. So I want the students to take away the fact that they can find career choices, make career choices based on using their own imagination. Labukan Creative Center Grenada featured the book recently and invited students to witness the reenactment of the text firsthand by local actors. So I was born into slavery. And when I tell you, my father was the most abusive man, a wicked, wicked man. I shan't mince my words. But then, along came Thomas Pringle, mm, a handsome man. Saved me from the abuse of my father, and he bought me at a good price. Some students gave their reactions to the pleas. It was an extreme honor being here this afternoon. I learned so much about my culture, about Grenada, and uh, I think that it was a lot of creativity in the plays that were being executed. I feel like it was an interesting way to express the thing that has happened in our history. There was a lot that I did not know. Doing um, history and social studies myself, I think that the writer, she did a very excellent job in portraying the characters on the cast. The cast deserves to be applauded because they did very well. It was very educational. And I enjoyed it. I learned a lot from being here today. Artistic director of the Labukan Creative Center, Francis Urias Peters, said he was happy to work along with Miss Yvonne Wicks. Yvonne's motto is the artist education. And we were so happy to collaborate with Dr. Yvonne Wicks, my colleague and my friend from the University of the West Indies at the Cable um, Campus where we staged six dramatic monologues from the book Voices that was edited by Dr. Weeks. And the six monologues were all written by her. And I had the privilege to direct three of the monologues. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.